Hey everyone, welcome to the Superbase database video series with Next.js 15. So first of all, what is Superbase? Superbase is a popular backend as a service, also known as PaaS. Backend as a service allows you to develop full stack web application by providing features like uh, authentication, database, storage, edge functions, and so on. You might have heard about Firebase, which is also a backend as a service and it is from Google and Superbase is a popular alternative of it. It's built with open source technologies. For example, it is using Postgres behind the scene for the database. And just like Firebase, it gives you many services like database, authentication, storage, uh, cloud functions, uh, vectors, real-time database, and so on. We're gonna only focus on database in this video series, but I will also touch authentication a bit. But if you want to learn about authentication, I have an entire video series about it where I've covered uh, Google OAuth, GitHub OAuth, passwordless authentication, authorization, and so on. The link will be on the description, so feel free to check that out. So we already got an introduction to Superbase, and now I will set up our Nexus project with Superbase. And in the next videos, we will be learning CRUD operations, create, read, delete, and update data. Then we will learn about user profile management where I will touch authentication a bit. Then we will learn about database relationships, how to join tables, how to filter and sort data, pagination, and finally role level security or RLS, basically a way to protect the data. So before you get started, please consider like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me a lot. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first we need a Superbase project. So just go to the dashboard and you might need to create a new organization if it's a brand new account. So let's create a new project. Choose the organization. Let's give it a project name and a database password. And let's create a new project. So it is now creating a new project for us. We need two things. We need this unknown key and we need this project URL. That's it. So now let's set up Nexus. So I have a brand new Nexus app with Tailwind. I've also installed the Tailwind UI library called Daisy UI. It's really awesome and beautiful. It is just for styling and you don't need to use it. However, if you want to learn about it, I have an entire crash course on my channel. And we need to install two packages. So npm i at superbase slash superbase js and superbase slash superbase sr. This one for server side rendering since we are using Next.js. So let's install them. Okay, so now we need to create a client file. So let's create a file inside source utils slash superbase slash server dot js and I'm just gonna paste some code you can get the code directly from my repo or you can go to superbase documentation and then go to Next.js and if you scroll down here you'll see a server.ts file this is the code that you actually need to copy paste this is basically exporting a function I've called it create client for server. It will create a new client for you so that you will be able to interact with Superbase. And now we need to create another file .env.local to store the environment variables. I'll paste the variable names. The variable names are going to be Superbase URL and Superbase and on key. And you need to make sure that it is prefixed with next public because we're going to expose the values to our client side. So let's get the keys. So in the dashboard, if you scroll down here, you'll see the project URL. And then this API key or anon key. And both of them are actually public. So you can expose them to client side and you actually protect your data using RLS or role level security. It is similar to our Firebase rules. I have also removed all the boilerplate code and in the layout file, 
I have added a nav component. In the nav component, it's pretty simple. I have this session object. Later, we will fetch the real session. But for now, it's just an empty object. And then we have a header as link. Then a link button for creating a new post. Then we have a form which will have the button for login, dashboard, and logout buttons. So let's run the dev server. And let's go to localhost 3000. And this is what it looks like. We have this simple text and a header with some navigation buttons. So our setup is done. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will learn how we can create tables and how we can create data directly from our Nexus app. So until then, stay safe. Goodbye.